20 pieces, 10 outfits. What's up guys, I'm Brian Sakawa, you're watching He Spoke Style, and today we are talking about a fall capsule wardrobe. When it comes to your wardrobe, versatility is one of the most important attributes you should be looking for when adding anything to your closet. You always want to get the most out of what you have, and there's a lot you can do with not that many pieces. So I put a fall capsule wardrobe together. It's 20 pieces, and I'm gonna show you 10 ways that you can wear them all the way from business to casual and everything in between. Next, let's take a look at the pieces I chose. First, we have a gray flannel suit, plaid sport coat, now onto some shirts, a white OCBD, a striped business shirt, and a Western denim shirt. Knitwear, we're doing a turtleneck and a gray V-neck sweater. Tweed waistcoat. For the pants, we have a pair of denim jeans and also a pair of brown pants. Coats, we have a navy coat, a classic navy pea coat, and a suede trucker jacket, four pairs of footwear, dark brown wingtips, a pair of tassel loafers, wingtip dress boots, and a pair of Chelsea boots. Finally, three accessories, a simple pattern tie, a casual silk scarf, and a brown felt fedora. Let's see what we can do with these. Up first, we have just a very simple and classic business outfit. Now, when you're thinking about a capsule wardrobe, you should always have one suit that is sort of the foundation, something that's easy to wear and something that's versatile so that you can break it into separates for different looks. For fall, one of the best and most classic suits is what you see here, and that is a gray flannel suit. Now, the suit I'm wearing is part of our exclusive MTM collection. We're launching with Michael Andrews in the next few months. It's just so easy to wear with a striped shirt, pattern tie, classic navy coat, and brown wingtips, you are covered whether you have to wear a suit to the office or if you're going out to an event or a nice restaurant with someone special. Next is a variation on the first outfit, but one that takes the formality down a couple notches. Now, you can see that I retained a couple of things from the first outfit, and those are the shirt, the tie, and the pants. You're going to see these pants a lot in this video, and you'll really start to understand how versatile a pair of gray flannel pants are. So to take a business look and transform it into business casual, I did a few things here. First, I swapped the jacket for a V-neck sweater. Instead of the longer jacket, I switched up to a classic pea coat, a little sportier, a little casual, uh, and then also to give it a more relaxed feel, I changed from wingtip lace-ups to a pair of tassel loafers. Overall, this look is still very dressy, but just by altering those three things, it gives it a much more business casual vibe. Up next, highlighting the versatility of the gray flannel suit, this time using the jacket as a separate. Now, because flannel is a heavier weight fabric, it makes it possible to use the jacket from a suit as a piece of outerwear if it's not super cold out. And you can give that jacket a little more warmth by layering a sweater underneath, which is what I've done here with the classic V-neck. Notice the gray of the sweater is lighter than the gray of the jacket and continues the focus down to the white OCBD, which gives the overall appearance of the look a very nice harmony. I decided to make this a little more casual, like maybe something you'd wear out to a weekend brunch with a pair of jeans. And to elevate it ever so slightly, up top we have the fedora and then anchored by the dress boots. Next up is a look that is all about casual sophistication. Now this is a look that you could totally wear out to a dinner date, perfect for a situation where you wanna look elevated and put together and kind of exude this relaxed elegance. The key to that, in my opinion, is a turtleneck. The one I'm wearing is by Pini Parma. A turtleneck is always a great substitute when you want to look less businessy formal and more of what I would call casually elegant. Pants, again, as you can see, are the pants from the suit, which pair really nicely with the beige color of the turtleneck. Because of the vibe of this look, the longer coat is the appropriate coat here. Same goes for the tassel loafers. And then the final touch, just for something a little bit extra, the perfect stylish detail, and that is the lightweight scarf. Here we have basically the same look, but a complete transformation. If the last look was casual sophistication, then this look is sophisticated casual. 
Base of this look is exactly the same. We have the turtleneck and also the gray flannel pants. And then introducing this Lux casual piece, which is a suede trucker jacket. This is another piece in the HSS Michael Andrews MTM collection. I'll put a link to sign up to be the first to know about it right up there at the top and also down below in the description. Uh, every piece in the collection is my favorite, but I really love this one for its ability to take a casual look up an extra notch. And then two details to top off and anchor this look. We have the fedora, which is by Goran Brothers, and then the dark brown wingtips, which are the McAllister by Alan Edmonds. Next, we're going in a direction that I would call casually dapper. Working in some new pieces here that we haven't seen yet, we have the Western denim shirt by Polo Ralph Lauren, the tweed waistcoat by Michael Andrews, part of the very first suit they ever made for me, possibly going to be available in the MTM collection if the fabric is still around. Then we have these brown pants, which are vintage YSL, and then the light brown Chelsea boots, which are by Jack Irwin. Now what I wanna point out most about this look is that we have two textural elements, three if you count the suede jacket over my shoulder, but I'm talking about the denim shirt and the tweed waistcoat. Texture is something to think about, especially in the fall when you are looking to really kind of take your style game to the next level. Here we've got a great fall cocktail party look. Three very soft, refined, and casually elegant items coming together here, starting off with the Glen Plaid Sport Coat. Fabric is by Fox. Some of the best flannels out there have patch pockets to keep it a little more on the casual side. And this jacket will also be available as part of the MTM collection. Moving on to the turtleneck, which we've already seen, but I want to talk a little bit about the fabric. This is a cashmere and wool blend, which gives it a very nice feel and texture. And then the flannel pants once again from the suit. You know, it's amazing to me what you can do with just three really great pieces. I decided to go with the wingtips here, but I think this outfit would also look great if you wanted to sub in the tassel loafers. Next up is a look that is almost too easy. Just a button up shirt, pants, pea coat, and loafers. This is such a simple look and works Monday through Friday as a kind of casual business outfit and also very nice for the weekend if you're going out for drinks or a casual date night. This outfit could definitely work with the gray flannel pants, but the brown pants make it a little more interesting in my opinion. Brown is not a color that you see as much as say navy or gray. It's also a dark brown, so it's not your typical khaki pants. Um, I like to consider brown as my go-to alternate for navy or gray. Next, we have another example of how you can wear a heavier weight sport coat as your sole piece of outerwear for the fall. A flannel sport coat is a no-brainer and it really works, especially if it has a pattern like the classic Glen Plaid. Now, I get a lot of questions about whether you can wear a blazer or a sport coat with jeans. It really depends and it depends mostly on the fabric. Fabrics like flannel, like this jacket or tweed will always look great paired with denim. Now, this is a simple look, just have my white OCBD underneath, but then we have these great finishing touches in the fedora, the scarf, and the wingtip dress boots. Finally, pulling in some luxe casual and textural elements with the suede trucker jacket and the Western denim shirt with some dressier items in the brown pants and the Chelsea boots. Honestly, not too much to say about this look other than that it's simple and casual. The suede elevates it, the boots kind of balance the suede jacket, and the shades of brown are all slightly different. The pants being the darkest, the jacket is just a little lighter than the pants, and then the boots being the lightest of the browns, always a good way to go about pairing similar colors. There you have it, 20 pieces, 10 different outfits, all the way from business to casual, you are covered. Complete outfit details, as always, are down below in the description. Leave me a comment, let me know which look you like best. Thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and until next time, thanks for watching, and stay tailored.